Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most beautiful spot in Ark Aberration. Oh my god. So I actually just recorded reading an explorer note right here, and I'm really butthurt that I didn't actually record it. I thought I was. Spent all that time talking and not doing anything and recording. But anyways, uh, me and Aura are hanging out. We're going to go tame a um, one of the uh, shine deer thingy-maboobers. The, uh, the, you know, the shine horns. There we go. Shine horn. And then we found this place, which is actually one of the spots that I uh, highlighted in my top five places to build an aberration. And I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to live now. So I, I'm in love with this. This is my favorite spot in aberration so far. And uh, this is the first time she's seen it. And we're going to move here. So we're going to actually try and tame up some of these shine deer, which should be just around the corner. And then we're going to come back and get some stuff built into here. And uh, we're going to move our base. So I hope you guys all enjoy the episode. If you do, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. And let me know if you uh, what you think of our new spot. Imagine building a zoo in this area and just walking through the zoo. I, I have a... I, I have a feeling I, I kind of know what I'm going to do for the zoo enclosures. I'm going to build them up in the sky and you have to zip line back and forth to them or something like that. It's going to be cool. Hope you guys all enjoy it. Aura's got some, it looks like she's got uh, hallucinating the, oh, she's going to pass out. This isn't good. But anyways, we'll be back. We got to find some shine deer. So I was just pointing out that there's a freaking box down here. Look at this. I'm pretty sure it's an explorer note. It is. What do we get? Whoa, entry number 13. I always knew Santiago would come up with a new plan. His taste in pop idols might be questionable, but if anyone can figure this place out, it's him. After studying the obelisk in depth, he's convinced that he can design an amped up version of their teleportation tech that can connect to a more distant platforms. Oh. Uh, specifically, it would be able to lock onto a signal we discovered a few weeks ago, one that's uh, on a slightly different frequency than all the other obelisks we've detected. More importantly, it's far, far away from any of them. Ooh. The scale of this would be massive. We're talking years of work, but everyone agrees that it's our best move. The Gateway Project is officially underway. That is pretty cool. And I know what that's leading up to already. I'm not going to give any spoilers in case you guys uh, don't want any. But as we explore or as we go through this season, we'll learn more about what's to come. And it's pretty exciting. All right. We found a shine deer, a, a shine horn. It's just up here. We got to kill everything around it. Uh, this is the same place where I showed you guys how to tame it in my shine horn taming episode. My little shine horn showcase episode with the... And so just in case you guys didn't get to see that, this is the crystalline swamp. And they're just they're just prancing around all over this place. She's just fascinated with it. She was just gonna abandon me to the nameless. So there we go. Alright, so they um their kibble is this stuff here, the agravic agaravic mushrooms. So we can just kind of just walk up to it, stick it up its butt, and we got one. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh man. This is exciting. These are my favorite things in Aberration so far. Look at it. It's adorable. <laughs> I stole it. She just wanted to touch it. It's mine. It's adorable. Look at it. How it sits on your shoulder. Oh, I just can't get enough of it. It's too freaking cute. I got a gamma down. I'll just do regular gamma. There we go. Oh, man. Look at this place. No. Hey. <laughs> like I'll take that as a hint as she wants the shine deer we got to find another one but um uh if we can get another one then I'm gonna actually start doing the breeding today for the uh 12 shine deer of Christmas pretty exciting stuff wouldn't you say yes another shine deer it's just hanging our our throat our throat no get away from it it's got cyan horns not today not today uh-oh Oh man, my uh I didn't realize how much damage I've taken on this thing so far. All right. So, uh what level is this one? I think we should be good. Oh, it's got the little sign. We got it. It's low low. Oh, oh, oh. Sweetie sweetie, they're coming for our booty. No, I think we're good. Oh, there's an alpha crab over there. Holy crap. Okay, so we've got our shine deer. Where are you going? Whistle passive. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious me. All right, we need to get this back to the back to the base. So hopefully she knows that. So, all right, hold on. Okay, so yeah, we're going back to the base. I'm gonna just kind of take it slow with the shine horn. I'm I'm half tempted to. Well, this is 
This is, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, now we're going back to base. Sorry, I had the issue with my computer was freaking out. So, all right, I'm just going to slowly get back to base. I wish we had a higher level one, but um, we are going to build that other base in that spot. Oh, there's a freaking Megalosaur ass over here. All right, we cleared it out this way. So, if we go up, we should be okay. Oh, the poor Shinehorn. I don't want it to die. I will legit cry tears real tears if my shine horn dies we need to name it you know what you guys get to name my first official shine horn ladies and gentlemen leave your name recommendations down below for the first shine horn my first shine horn i love it so much it's so far away oh my god well hopefully we get to the base all right, so we've made it back, and uh, we're kind of just gathering up all the stuff that we need to craft. Basically, uh, we want to basically put stone gates along the front, so we're working on that right now. Now, thankfully, there is plenty of stone, and we've got these fungal trees here, which actually the fungal wood counts as regular wood, so we've got plenty of resources here. Now, there are some of those mushrooms that can kind of screw us over, but uh we should be okay now there's plenty of stone and metal so i'm gonna start crafting up some of that stuff as well but otherwise we're in a pretty cool spot like this area is nice we haven't I've, we've been trying to test um to see if nameless will spawn here and we haven't had any nameless spawn without any of the lights on so that's good uh we're looking you know relatively safe so we're just gonna put some behemoth gates in the front and then we can actually start working on building houses and all that stuff and I'm going to start trying to figure out exactly where I want to build the zoo, I guess. Okay, so we're having a major issue with mu <laughs> with mushrooms down here. So uh, I decided to tame up an iguanodon while we're down here. And yeah, things, things are not going well whatsoever. The mushrooms down here are more... I mean, this it's really the only bad thing down here is the mushrooms. So going to work on getting this thing tamed up. And hopefully we don't continue to die to all the freaking mushrooms. Whoo, baby. Okay, so I'm back. We actually, I made a little uh, makeshift base just in case this wasn't actually safe overnight. Uh, but we've got behemoth gates up before I went to bed. I also crafted up a whole bunch of metal. So we got 266 metal in there. And then we've also got um, food and everything, which is nice. There we go. And I should have crafted up enough cementing paste to make something amazing. All right, so we do have cementing paste there. And this is what I want to make. Or I need I need the cementing paste tag. What are you doing with your life, home skillet? There we go. And uh, the nice thing about being down here is it's easy to get cementing paste and all that stuff. But I want to make this. Finally, a high enough level to make the stone cliff platform. A cliff platform is required to build structures extending from a cliff. This one is made from heavy stone. Okay, so that's the best one that you can make. I, well, you might be able to make a metal one too. That I don't know. But we can also make flak armor, which is pretty nice. And um, we need to actually go around and get loot boxes and stuff as well. Let's see here. So uh, flak, there we go. I'll make two sets. That way Aura's got some when she logs on. She lost all of her stuff last night. <laughs> uh, tragedy ensued every once well actually tragedy ensued on our way down here is, is really what happened it was pretty terrible but um there we go at least we got better gear now and let's see Cla there we go cliff platform so i don't want to make it too high what out of placement range okay does it need to does it snap to pillars let's see here so it's pretty big can't place on floor. You can't place it on the freaking cliff either. Oh, interesting. Out of oh, it's out of placement range. Derp. Okay, I'm just being a derp. So what we need to do is well, one, I need some freaking clothes. I think we're we're just gonna use the zip line and then just uh um do that. So let's see here. Let's grab some armor. And then is that all of it? Yeah. And then uh, also, I've got my zip lines in here. So you can walk up with the... There we go. So you got my zip lines. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And these things are pretty pretty handy. I love them. I actually built a zip line little walkway to actually get down into the area. You can use the tree, but the zip lines are a lot better. Anyways, let's see here. So I want it to be... I kind of want it to be like over here. 
because it's freaking beautiful right there. Um, let's see. We got to be careful of shrooms over here. Very sketchy area. Um, let's see here. I guess I could always move it. I kind of just want to get the the base above the ground. I mean, kind of building it into the <laughs> into the waterfall would be really cool. Let me see here. Oh, hello, poisonous gas from hell. What? No! Oh God! No! No! no. <laughs> please, please, game. Let me survive. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. Holy Jesus. Okay. I need to get a little cap thing for that. I'm high enough level for that as well. So, all right. So, um, we'll just boink it and then we'll boink it and we'll see how this looks actually doing it into the wall. We just got to grab a ravager here and we'll show you like one of the really cool things about the ravager, which makes it so much better to get around because you can just do this. You don't have to worry about flyers because you just hop on. You just point it at a zip line and then um, hit the space button and it'll hop on. So this is says it's out of placement range. Is it still out of? I am like all up inside of you. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Well, I got, I got a placement there. So I have to be like, how does this thing place? I have to place it under me? Oh my god. This is a pain in the butt. It just I think it might be a little glitched out, really, is what the problem is. Or do I have to place it under me? Okay, so you have to place it under you. Interesting. Okay. So how is that not out of placement range? Anyways, I do want to build next to the waterfall. I think it would be really cool. So let's see here. Let's do it right there. I think that looks nice. It's kind of in the waterfall. Can I jump to it? Oh god, big mistake! Jesus! All right, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make some more zip lines uh, to actually get up to there. But we could kind of make like a whole little walkway thing for houses and stuff like that, which I think will look really nice. So I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit and um, see if I can make it look just how I want. All oh, the little shine horns are following me still. Oh, they're so adorable. Are you guys ready to see the best way to build a base ever? Look at this. This is definitely the best building location. We could build all the way up this waterfall or build around and just kind of leave the waterfall pretty. But oh my god. And then we've got that bridge right there. The crystal just acts as a natural bridge. And it's amazing. So there's a couple things that I want to do right meow. Uh, first of which would be... We need an elevator. So I, I've got all the elevator track stuff made. I just put a zip line up there for a ravager. There we go. I'm hoping that it's, it, it gets all the way to where I need it to be. It's kind of hard to see exactly where they're going. Oh, did it go right through? Okay. Well, that'll work. I thought it was going to attach right to the platform. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, we need a um, an elevator to get up. So I've got all of these tracks. I've also got a medium and a large one made. But um, I just got to figure out exactly where to do it. I think if we do it like right on this, well, it would look better if we did it on a flat spot. So um, these should act just like the, yeah, just like the metal ones, except they're just made out of wood. So, I mean, I could actually, no, I don't have any tech or anything. So I'm just going to try and get it like this. There we go. So it's literally just like the metal one, but made out of wood. And then once I get it down to the ground, which is going to be the hard part, and that's what we're going to use this for. So we got the grappling hook here. And, oh, that was scary. I'm just going to... What? Where did it go? Well, I need a new grappling hook. Let's try that again, but a little bit more smarterly. We're just going to do that. <laughs> did my... Did that not attach? What? All right, we've got seven grappling hooks this time. One of them is going to work. Stupid earthquakes. Grappling hook. Re what? What? What is this? Am I too close or something? What? 
Do grappling... Why would grappling hooks not work? That's the real question. Uh, I got one grappling hook left. Ah, oh my god! So after some testing, I found out how the grappling hooks need to work. It's kind of sad, but it's just what needs to happen. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Anyways, yeah. What? Game! Why? There we go. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna do this all the way down to the ground. <laughs> I I can't believe that happened. That's so dumb. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, God! So, it's definitely not the easiest way to do anything. But, um, it'll get the job done. We're gonna get her done. Slowly but surely. Eh! Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. And, oh. There we go. Just don't get too ahead of yourselves. You gotta do what I just did. There, just a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. <laughs> oh, this is the most absurd thing ever. Oh god! <laughs> oh, the struggle is real. I'm just gonna keep recording so you guys can laugh at me while I do this. I got this. It's gonna be beautiful, though. It's gonna be... The best base ever. I'm so glad I found this spot. And I did, I, I think I already said this, but I did spotlight this on my uh, top five places to build an aberration. And if you haven't seen that already, it'll be in the cards. Go ahead and check it out. A lot of really cool spots to build in this game. And this is definitely my favorite, I think. Well, hands down, probably my favorite. And there's no nameless here, at least yet, knock on wood. We'll, we'll keep knocking on the wood. There we go. We should almost be done. Down close enough to get off the darn uh, zip line. There we go. On a, on a bad note, I did leave my Ravager up there. So that poses a slight issue. But anyways. Not to worry. Not to worry. There we go. And now that that's all the way into the ground, we can actually put our platform. We're going to try the large platform, but I have a feeling it might not look as good. So let's see here as the medium one, medium. So we got the medium and the large, and then we need this, which I probably should have put on already, but uh, live and learn, ladies and gentlemen, live and learn. And I made just enough of those. Did you see that? I had one left. That is awesome. So this thing is quite large. That's not what she said. Um, anyway, <laughs> no, what? Why? Why would you sn I'm so dumb. So, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but um so for this ele for the particular wood elevator to work, you need somebody to be at the top to lift it. And then it doesn't you can't actually it doesn't do any it doesn't come it comes up very 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 slowly like you have to just keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. I mean, I guess it makes sense uh, because it is using gears and everything. So you'd have to like crank it and then stop and rest and crank it and stop and rest. But this is taking a very long time. Um, positive note, it does go down fast. But getting it up, not so much. So I figured I'd just show you guys. It's working. Now, that being said, you can't, you can't use the elevator from the bottom. So if you all leave the base... And you're trying to get back, you can't. So there's a thing. So I'm gonna have to make like a rope ladder probably. And then if there's anything in particular we need to get um, up into the base, other than like the ravagers and stuff, then we'll have to use the elevator like this. Um, but for now, I'll probably just keep the. Well, I'll get the elevator all the way up here so you guys can see it. <laughs> uh, we're definitely gonna have to upgrade to a metal one uh, as soon as we can don't have the cementing paste and stuff for that quite yet but there we go made it all the way up to the top just want to make sure yeah i built that elevator damn near perfect damn near per well the second time damn near perfect <laughs> first time not so much anyways we do need to get the ravagers and stuff down so on a bonus you don't you can uh you can activate the elevator while up on the elevator so that is good well i've been trying to figure out exactly how to build on top of these so i've got this one placed over here on the other side of the bridge and i placed a third one 
over here, which we can just walk over to. So this kind of gives us quite a bit of room to build. Now, I do like the way the platforms look. It just sucks that they don't have snap points. And um, I kind of don't even want to build like an enclosure just because it's just so pretty to, to kind of look out at everything. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe we just leave it open. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it's just, it just doesn't look good when you build on top of them is what the issue is. So let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to, I've, I've built on platforms a bunch and I'm trying to do something a little bit different this time, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to get that snapped like that. And then we'll build out maybe like this and then like that. And then can we get this to snap? No. Okay. And we can't get it to snap there. Nope. But, um, if we do it right from here, it's just so difficult to build on these and make it look good. It's, it's, it's almost impossible really to make it look good. And, um, yeah, there's a couple different ways to do this, but I'm just trying to see what I can do to get the most foundations off. And that would be by actually built, making sure that you build on the flat bit. So let's see here. I'm just going to use the S I'm using vanilla to actually build with, but I'm going to use the S plus gun to pick stuff up because I don't want to have to re farm all of my stuff. So anyways, there's a couple different ways to do this. We can, oh, it's just so hard to see the, the snap points. I like that they've got grids on them now. I don't think that was ever a thing before. So that should be flush like this. Maybe we can put it out a little bit farther like that. Yeah, I don't ever remember them having grids, but that's good that they have them now. And then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that on each of them. Well, it took a freaking hot minute, but we finally got it done. So pretty much this worked out really, really well. Uh, so you guys saw me just place them basically on every front bit. So I'll go ahead and show you. We'll go over here. And um, all I did was just place a foundation on every front bit. And with the vanilla structures, I did it not on the first line, not the second line, not the third line, but the fourth line. And at the fourth line, I just kind of made sure to line it up. And then I placed it. And I did this on every... Uh, every little flat bit like this. Got to make sure it's center. And then all you got to do is just um, just flatten it out. Flatten it out. You just got to make sure to put all, put all of them down before you, you actually start placing the foundations and stuff. There we go. Sometimes you'll end up inside of it. And then you just got to jump out. Yeah, it ended up working out well. And then you put um, ceilings in front of it. And that's how you get that line like that. How, how you get it all nice. So I'll go ahead and show you real quick. So we just go uh, out, 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 and then out, out, out. I'm out of ceilings, but you get the you get the gist of it. This one snapped weird. What the hell? But yeah, these did snap weird. What game? Why do you vex me so? But you get the gist of it. So I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the same thing, and then we'll be back. I spy with my little eye a wild shine horn. I'm just like chilling out and lo and behold, there it is. So um, let's go ahead and get down there. I'm pretty sure I still have some mushrooms left. Let's see here. Now I could just zip line down, but I don't want to risk dying. So this is a little sketch. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Because um, I, I have to probably reinstall this zip line into a better place, but um, we'll get there. We'll get there. So that actually looks pretty good. Uh, I was trying to build it a couple different ways, and it kind of looked like hammered ass, but it looks it looks a lot better now. So it's just a matter of matter of time. But you can see how I built it, where it's just uh, the foundations, and then you just build the um, the ceilings off of it, and it just it looks it comes out really nice. It's it's the best way to do it. Looks really good. There we go. But let's see here. We need some mushrooms, and if memory serves, I put the mushrooms in not in here. Uh, did I put the mushrooms? Where did I put the mushrooms? Agravic mushrooms. There's two. It should only take one to tame this thing. Anyways, it's low level. <gasps> Where'd you go? <gasps> oh, a drop. Um, glow sticks. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a freaking rave. It's rave time. All right. Where the hell did it go? 
It's gone. It has vanished into the ether. Ether? ether. <gasps> there it is. Level 18 female. Aw, oh, yeah. Welcome to the group, home skillet. Look at those horns. Aw, oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Anyways, um, let's see here. So I'm still trying to debate whether or not I should be um, building like walls off of them and stuff because I just love the view. I feel like it would just tarnish it. So maybe we'll make like little small areas. These freaking things look cool too. I just pooped. I pooped. It's all about the poop. And so let's see here. I just want to make sure that the, the Ravager can actually get back up the zip line here. Um, oh, can we turn around? Oops, that's not how you turn around. That's not how you turn around at all. There we go. Anyways, so I should be able to just phase through that wall. I'm like 90% sure. And then I, I know I can drop down because I was doing it earlier. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Slight issue. Okay, so all we got to do is just pick up the... Oh, God! I'm amazing! I am officially amazing did you guys see that <laughs> holy shit okay look at you go home skillet nice so um we do have this one other thing in here i think it's a zipline motor i don't know where i make it though so let's see here what did i learn it yet so zipline motor okay so i don't have a fabricator or anything we'll have to do that in another episode <gasps> oh i can make that i can learn the hazard suit stuff Oh, happy day. All right, so that's going to open up our ability to explore a little bit. So I'm going to have to fix that. And then uh, I think, let's see here. If I go up here, I do have the gun and I can shoot off the back of these. So if we go up and then boink, now we should be good, right? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. We're going to have to reposition that because I don't like the way that looks. I guess it doesn't look so bad, uh, but it could be better. It could be a lot better, right? Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm kind of just trying to figure out. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just get all of our stuff up here. I'll probably keep, like, um, let's see here, the forges down there. That way we don't have to carry it or, you know, go all the way up the zip line to get it up here because the freaking um, elevator doesn't work very well. But this is this looks nice. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little build. I could probably do a full video on it if you want, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever built an arc, it's just, you just follow the simple directions and then put the ceilings on, you're good to go. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna get some stuff placed up here. I'm gonna try and, I don't think we need the Iguanodon up here. I should probably get Aura up here, but um, I could probably just put her on the elevator and then spend 15 minutes or just leave her there. Okay, wow, yeah, I just realized how long this episode was. <laughs> it's, it's getting up there. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I hope you like the new area to build. This is definitely my favorite spot in Ark, and, or in Aberration, and I'm quite happy with the way this is going to turn out, I think. Imagine just building a zoo in the sky. It's, it's impossible to do that, but I can build the zoo down there and our home up here, which is pretty much perfect, I think. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough room down there for the zoo or not. But we'll get it figured out. Anyways, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.